Welcome back to the table, everybody. I'm here with an upcoming brand new game that I'm really excited about and a brand new person that I'm really excited about. This is Sydney Engelstein, who is one of the designers and developers from Indie Boards and Cards, and the game is Astronaut's Eternity. And this was something that you've You've worked on this game basically since its conception. Yeah, I was one of the original developers on the first Astro Nights. I also did a lot of the art direction, character writing, so I had a hand in it uh, from its conception, but this is the first time that I am actually one of the lead designers on wow, it. Wow, that's exciting. Congratulations. Uh, Astro Nights was a, a big game. Uh, this was a Kickstarter that came out, what, a year or two ago, the Kickstarter yeah, launched? Yeah, about a year ago. And this this game is kind of, a, I don't want to call it necessarily a sequel, maybe more of like a spiritual successor to Aeon's End, which people are probably familiar with, another big indie boards and cards game. And this game takes a lot of, of Aeon's End and kind of, I would want to say, like streamlines it, compacts it, makes it maybe a little easier to yeah. play. Our goal with Astro Knights was to take Aeon's End, which is really one of our most popular games and my personal favorite game, and make it more accessible, not only to new audiences, new players, people who Aeon's End is a little heavy and confusing for, yeah, but yes. also just make an Aeon's End-like experience that Aeon's End lovers can play in a shorter amount of time and set up faster. Uh, and also just have new experiences because it's not one-to-one -one with Aeon's End. Sure. There's whole new mechanics and new ways that it plays. Well, yeah, not just that, but the theme is significantly different. We went from Aeon's End, which is like grim, dark fantasy, to this Astronauts, which is, you know, like like a Voltron-esque, Power Rangers almost kind yeah. of thing, like out and outer Colorful space. Colorful space right. superheroes. That's it. <laughs> uh, but I think that that was all so that was all Astronauts. Astronauts 2, or Astronauts Eternity, it's a little bit different, right? Like we're, we're taking the story, I think, in a different direction from right. the original Astro Knights. So the original Astro Knights, uh, the story was that a scientist had invented this powerful invention called a star core, which is basically... That uh, sounds so sci-fi. Well, it's, it's like a uh, deus ex machina <laughs> <laughs> machine sure. that uh, you put in your chest and it can convert any kind of energy in the universe into usable fuel that you can actually use to basically have more powerful tech and weapons than one person could normally handle all by themselves. To be superheroes. Yeah. And this scientist, he went around the universe and gave them to the six most like deserving people, the best of the best, you know, war heroes and volunteers and diplomats and people who he knew would use the Star Corps for good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Astronauts Eternity takes place a couple hundred years after that. All the astronauts have disappeared, and no one's really sure why. In fact, a lot of the universe thinks these mythical defenders were actually just myths and weren't, you know, really there because sure. they've had to fend for themselves for so long. And a group of everymen, a small spaceship of uh, scrappers, they go to spaceship wrecks and just take pieces to sell on the black market discover the crass spaceship of the original astronauts with the star cores inside and take up the mantle to become the new astronauts. So instead of being about legendary heroes, it's kind of a, can these everyman, these normal people still step up and be the heroes that the yeah, universe needs? I, I like that style. You can definitely see that uh, style presented in the new characters. And there are there are like, what, five new characters, plus maybe a returning character from the base? Yeah, so there's five new characters, and then also you can already see on the little gameplay, uh, Zack is back from the original Astro Knights. Uh, they find him alongside the Star Corps. Since they are a robot, they're the only one who could have possibly survived all those hundreds of years sure. since the old Astro Knights. So uh, they're there to lead the new uh, team into sort of discovering their destiny. So I do I do want to say, so with, with that kind of almost changing in focus from like the heroes of the ages to like basically Star Wars scum and villainy, like the bounty hunters and, and scavenge crews, did that actually change like the mechanics of the game, the, the powers, the abilities, the cards that are in the row? Like, is there a power level difference between these characters or like mechanical difference? We definitely thing. wanted to try and keep the power level on par with the original Astro Knights because just like Aeon's End, if you're familiar, this Astro Knights game and the original Astro Knights game are totally cross compatible. Oh, cool. You can okay. use characters from these to fight against bosses from the original using cards from either one. We even give a couple of different options of way to make 
mix the market supply piles between the first game and the second one, uh, depending on what sort of play experience you're looking for. Um, but I will say that sort of going into this game uh, as, uh, as a designer of it, my goal was to really heighten the teamwork aspect. Okay, cool. Because like you said, the, the theme is very family friendly, very Power Rangers. And what always happens at the end of a Power Rangers episode is that they right. believe in themselves so hard and the power of friendship carries them through. And you can actually see the power of friendship, quote unquote, being mechanics in this game. Oh, There's neat. a lot of new card types and new mechanics that rely on your uh, teammates doing things to help you, which in turn helps them. And those kinds of combos amongst different players is really punched up in this game versus the first one. That's good. I, I mean, I think if you've played Aeon's End or if you've played Astro Knights, I mean, teamwork is, I, I mean, it's paramount anyway mm -hmm. to be able to communicate with your team, coordinate with your team, because these bosses, and if you're not familiar, there's a different boss. Every single time you play this game, you're playing a different boss. You're using maybe a different set of cards. And these bosses are wildly different from each other. I have one set up here. This is like the first boss you're, you're gonna fight in Eternity. Um, but these, like, they're, they're crazily, each boss is different from each other. And we have, what, four bosses? Are you four to talk about that Yeah, so we have four bosses in this box because it actually, this is the first game for Astro Knights that we are doing the expedition system, okay. which if you're an Aeon Zen fan, you will definitely recognize the term expedition system because we've had it uh, to great success in a lot of Aeon Zen products. It's one of our uh, fans' favorite things about Aeon Zen. And what the expedition system is, is it's a four fight mini campaign. So in Astro Knights Eternity, it's not legacy, you're not changing sure. anything, but you will fight the four bosses in the box in order, and you get to read a little story in between each one that explains how you're going from boss to boss and what's happening to your characters. And your characters will gain uh, equipment cards that make them stronger and stronger from battle to battle, while the bosses will also be played at higher difficulties. So they'll get stronger and stronger as well. So it's like a campaign. When I saw that there was like already like normal difficulty and then nightmare difficulty cards yeah. too, that seems really intense. We even introduce a brand new difficulty in this one called Apocalypse oh, wow, Difficulty, okay. which is uh, even uh, harder than Nightmare uh, for the players is, who really know what they're doing. This game is hard. But it's the, hard. But the already. cool thing is we wanted it to be accessible to players of all skill levels. Sure. So uh, unlike the uh, in Aeon's End expeditions, which are just this is how you play an expedition, in Astro Knights we offer three different levels of expedition. Okay. There's a standard expedition, an advanced expedition, and legendary expedition. Okay, That's what it is. The hardest. I was just going to say hard, harder and harder. <laughs> right. But so if you're like, wow, Astronites is already hard, you can play the standard expedition. Sure. And it's actually, you're going to be facing the bosses on normal. And then you'll accrue uh, enough upgrades uh, to your characters that you'll be ready to face a couple on expert. So you'll actually get to see gotcha. this level of boss that you normally would feel like, oh, I can't really face the bosses on expert. But if you're, say, a super experienced Aeon Zen player who's always found Astro Knights a little bit boring because it wasn't easy. hard enough for you, you can take on a legendary expedition and then you face nightmare bosses moving into apocalypse bosses. Yeah, that sounds tough. And you can play those. You don't have to play the, the through the narrative if you don't want to, right? You can just grab any one of the random bosses and play with any random assortment, right? Yeah. yeah. Can you use those item cards and stuff outside of the If expedition? you want to, um, all cool. of the equipment cards will make your character stronger. So you can level up the bosses to match that. But if you don't want to, or you're still finding it tough, you can always bring the bosses down a level, but keep the equipment that you have in order to, you know, give yourself a little leg up on the, on the battle. Uh, additionally, we provide instructions on how to create your own expedition. Oh, cool. Uh, so okay. all the bosses come with randomizer cards. So you can shuffle up four different battle decks and draw what your first battle, second battle, third battle, and fourth battle will be. And it'll tell you what difficulty to fight them at based on what your uh, expedition uh, tier is. And does that mean that you can even pull in like bosses from the first astronauts yeah. into this expedition? Yeah. So we are mode including okay. uh, randomizers for okay. the original cool. a a astronauts and the astronauts expansion Orion system. So if yeah. you have the first astronauts and this one and both the small expansions uh, that come. Uh, then you'll have a ton of different options to choose from for making your own expeditions. Yeah, now I like I am an expedition player. When I see a game like this, and I do want to kind of show this is a prototype, of course, 
But you have these cool envelopes that hold like all, this is not an envelope. Yeah. This is a prototype, but you have these cool envelopes. And sure, like if you rip open this box, you can just open all these envelopes, pull out of the content and just play whatever you want. But like, I like that reveal. I like playing through the expedition and like not knowing what my next boss is going to be or what new character is going to get unlocked until I open the envelope. So I appreciate that being included in, in this game. Um, but of course, like I, I like the idea of being able to play with both sets. And like, you know, from my own personal love of both Aeon Zin and Astronauts, I'd love that eventual crossover. Yeah. That's, that's what I want to see. Aeon Zin characters teleport into the future. I mean, Astronauts I can't, going I can't back promise in time. any of that. I can't promise any of that. <laughs> Um, but they're definitely cross-compatible within themselves. So Astronauts uh, Eternity and the original Astronauts and any future Astronauts project will always have support for this expedition system. All right. Well, I'm going to quiz you then. So okay. with, with all this content, all these new characters, all these new bosses, what is our total character count for Astronauts? Okay, so there were eight in the first one and ten in this one, so 18. Oh, wow. And what about bosses? Uh, five and... Six, eleven. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a lot. Which, Don't quote me on that. Which character is your favorite? That's the last thing I want to know. Okay, so I have two answers uh -oh. to which character is my favorite. You can choose. Um, so one is this girl here, Sana, and that's a little bit because she's a bit of a self-insert. I'm bubbly. She's sure. bubbly. I wear colorful clothes, she wears colorful clothes. But also, I think she's super fun mechanically. Because another thing we were really trying to do with Astronauts Eternity, besides push friendship and the power of teamwork, <laughs> is um, a lot of people, uh, a lot of players, even the ones who enjoyed Astronauts, felt that it was definitely... Uh, rehashing a lot of uh, Aeon's End content, you know. Oh, we can see pieces of sure. other bosses in these bosses. And they were all recombined and brand new, but we were definitely testing the system. In this one, in Astronite's Eternity, we wanted to make our characters and our bosses as much things we can only do in Astronites, okay, things cool. that could never be done in Aeon Zen, really lean on the differences in their systems mm -hmm. to create brand new things. And Sana's a great example of that. So Sana's special card here is Booster Boots. When she equips it, she gains a slot for free. So she gains breaches or slots right, in Astronites right, like very quickly, very fast. And then her ability is that she attacks with all her currently equipped weapons, and then she can lose any number of slots and return from her discard pile a number of weapons equal to the number oh, of nice. slots so she, she just, just lost. Gets a, she's a ton of weaponry. So she is interacting with the slot mechanic in a way that no other uh, Astronite has ever done, and that we couldn't do in Aeon's End because you can't have a Breach Mage who keeps losing Sure, breaches that doesn't, and even, that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't work. So this is something that we could only yeah. do here. And it's been, it's super cool in execution because when you're hovering around like that three slot line, if you want to get two back, then you need to think, oh, do I have the money to gain back a slot in order to yeah. prep, uh, equip both of those two? Or do you get your booster back as one of the ones you come back with? So then when and you equip your slot. booster back... It gives you another slot, and then you can equip the other one you yeah. took back. So it's really very, very interesting. Well, it really works into the puzzle of like what Astronauts is, and like trying to manage your hand, and also to manage other people's expectations of what you're going to contribute. This feels like a very like DPS or damage focused character. Yeah. So she's probably my favorite mechanically. But then if you want to get out the character that was hiding I, in that I, envelope, oh, this one right here. Yeah, Rex and Shield Bow. Oh wow. So. uh... I just love them because Rex comes with his best buddy shield bow that's there. Uh, he's an inventor and he invented this shield bot who only says his own name just like a Pokemon. Nice. But he can't that quite makes, say it right, so he says sense. shield bow, shield bow, shield bow, shield bow, shield bow. That makes perfect and, sense. And uh, you actually get a shield bow card. Um, oh, nice. that will protect you from damage. So the shield bow card has life and you can give it more life oh, and it'll defend the characters. Um, it's very cool. We, we could expect that kind of like unique characters like they, they play with the system a little bit and each character kind of introduces something new, right? Yeah, yeah. and also um, on the Kickstarter, if you back it, one of the promo cards is actually an alternate art of Shield Bow, oh, nice. which is the version I doodled when I was working on the game. That's and it's just, just like a great. little cartoon doodle version of Shield You can Shield get Bow. that if you back on the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. so, that's going to be an exclusive Kickstarter promo. Yeah, check out that Kickstarter campaign. Again, the game is Astronauts Eternity. I want to say a big thank you to Sydney for 
joining us here on set today to share your enthusiasm, a lot of enthusiasm for this game. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan too. So definitely take a look at the Kickstarter page. Ask any questions down in the comments below. Join us on Discord where we're going to have a continuing conversation about this game and others. And until we see you again, keep having fun at the table.